Hi, this is Sharon at FitInFun.com, and you're listening to a follow-on video about my ideas for reaching uh, accounting professionals and financial professionals regarding obesity. And in my, one of my last videos, I talked about approaching um, other departments within my creditors, and here's how I'm going to do that. I have, I'm going to make a form letter. It'll be a page, but it'll be a half page. I'll cut it so I don't use a lot of supplies and ink. And I'll basically say something along the lines of, I am your creditor, I owe you this much money. I have had conversations with your collections department, you can read them here, and of course that'll link to videos and um, blog posts. Um, I know that 50% of your workforce is obese, and you can help me, and then do that, and send them to my frequently asked questions. And I think... Um, the reason that's going to be a better strategy is because it will at least get them talking. And even if they don't read my book, they're going to see my website. Hopefully somebody will, some people will out of this. Um, 36 creditors by five departments at each creditor, insurance, um, health insurance, uh, risk management, um, marketing, promotions, those kind of places. And another way to do this, aside from just doing it on the... Um, the, ha the r mailing is to do it through those websites of those companies because I'm sure they all have contact us that have nothing to do with collections but I'm a little leery about using the computer for this type of thing because of the problems that I've had on my website so I probably am going to go by letter on that particular way and um, so I'm going to send all those in the next several days and um, you'll see that update when I do it and then I'll give it, you know, 10 days or whatever and do a follow-up because the point, one thing I do know is that nobody ever does anything in this world unless they've heard seven times to do it. And that's something I learned when I used to work for nonprofit organizations. Um, that when you're asking for donations, the first time you ask, you'll get almost nothing. But when you get to the seventh time, that person is either going to say, look, take me off your list, I'm sick of you, or they're going to give you money much at a much higher rate than well, the first time you asked. The first time you ask, they just throw you in the trash if they don't like you. By the seventh time, they were thinking about you, at least good or bad. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to make my pitch, and I'll do some kind of financial benefit to them. Like, you're losing, you know, I'll find some statistic. According to so-and-so, if you're in this profession, you're losing this much time to obesity, because God knows people study this. They don't do anything about it, but there sure is a lot of studies. Go read those. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I used to weigh 275 pounds. I weigh 138.6 today. And that's because in three days it's going to be my two year anniversary of losing weight. And if I get below 137.5, I will be half my size. And if that coincidence happens on my two year anniversary, I will be very happy. And if I don't, I don't. I'm close enough to half my size, and it's been two years, so I think I know something. I guess no one else does, but I think I do. And um, I hope you'll at least go read the free stuff at fitinfun.com. Every click at every link helps me in my traffic and in every way. I'm really glad you're here if you're obese. Please keep listening. Please keep trying. There's If you do something every day, it'll get better. Um, be sure to fit in fun.